Hello my butterfly babies and welcome to my channel. This channel is designed to help you break out of your cocoon and to rise and fly. So today's pick a card reading is good news for you. We want to find out what good news is coming your way and more about it. So in order to help you pick your pile, I'm going to reach into the charm box and pick one charm for each pile. Charm number one, pile number one, pile number one. Let's see, you've got, oh my gosh, this little, <laughs> this little blue whale. <laughs> okay, and it, there's a little water spouting out of it. Pile number two, pile number two, pile number two. And you've got, wow, this gold key. Little heart-shaped gold key. Okay, that's, let's see what else. Pile number three, pile number three. Pile number three. You've got this gold peace sign. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so here are the three piles that you have to choose from. So the first pile, and let me just quickly so you can see them. First pile says Golden Palace, the number 23 with this little blue whale that's spouting water and the peach rose flower. Okay, and then we have uh, pile number two. It says Heal the Ouch with this gold key and the number 38 with this pink, pink rose. And pile number three, number 44, the strength card with this peace symbol and this white rose. Okay, so these are your three piles. Please pick your pile and I will see you at your reading. Okay, so let's get started with pile number one. We want to find out what good news is coming pile one's way. Pile number one, if you selected this card, Golden Palace, the number 23, with this little blue whale charm and this peach rose, this is your reading. Okay, so right off the bat with the Golden Palace and the number 23 and this whale charm, I feel that a big, big life change is coming. That's why I'm hearing like a whale-sized change <laughs> is coming your way, okay? Um, and it's going to put you in a new life, a new place, a new life. And also with the 23, which equals five, I'm hearing new adventures. You're going to experience new exciting things that you've never experienced before. I'm also hearing like travel. So some uh, travel may be involved in this big, exciting new change that you're going to experience. Okay, so let's find out more. Pile number one. What good news is coming pile number one's way? Okay, well, that's a lot. So, but we'll go through, there's four cards. Okay, the first card says purity. It says, always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within, within it, you will find the answer to your question. Okay, so this is just, and this is really cool because this matches this peach because there's like a peach glow over this. And I'm, I'm hearing like purity, like stay true to your heart. And follow your heart like it says your heart will not lead you wrong so whatever goals wishes um, I'm hearing a special wish is being manifested and that's going to create it's part of this big new life change that's coming that's that's going to be good news for you so let's see what else oh my gosh new <laughs> new beginnings we were just saying that a new life and what's funny is like a baby represents new life and there's a little baby here. So I'm hearing that you are going to experience a whole new life. And again, with this whale, it's a, a huge change, the size of a whale, like something that big, that drastic, that life changing. Um, and it's going to be something wonderful. And, you know, like the birth and, and you, there could be a baby in your future if that's where you are in life right now, where that's something that that you're wanting, but for, for others of you, it's the new beginning. It's the new life that you've been waiting for. It says the fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby. Yeah. So it's time to just keep going full force with this, your special wishes that you're trying to manifest because they are going to, to bring you to this new beginning. Okay, it says light. The, the fairy queen of light comes to, sh to shed love 
and light into your current situation. Okay, so it's good. Um, this, the fairy queen is shedding light and love into your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. Right, so if you've been feeling down in any way, if you've had any kind of darkness over your spirit or over your aura, or you've just been feeling down, or even, you know, some people may be feeling discouraged or depressed in some way, it's letting you know that you need to focus on the light and the positive things because no matter what you're going through, there are always things to be grateful and thankful for. And the more you're thankful, the more that that light spirit comes back, okay? And that positive energy comes back to you. So you can even write a gratitude list, even if it's the smallest thing. You know, well, you woke up this morning, so that's a huge thing that people take for granted. So there's a lot more than that you can think of to be grateful for. Okay, so it says, look in a book. Whatever your question, whatever your question is right now, you'll find the answer in a book. The words you find will bring insight, the insight you seek. So what I'm hearing with this is that if you have any questions, you can almost do like your own oracle with books that you have at home. So like you can ask a question and then open to a random page in a book and something on that page that you're drawn to is going to give you insight into your your new path and your new beginning and whatever questions you have. Okay, so that's something you wanna do. And then of course we have this purity one. Oops, I forgot to put that over there. The pretty little, we already did that one. That's just a reminder. Okay, so let's see what else. So, oh my gosh, <laughs> that's been happening a lot where a card will literally just fall out of the deck. So I am going to take that because that is a powerful energy just pushing that. Look at this, the muse. It says, I inspire and I am inspired. Yeah, so this new beginning, it's something, like I said, that there's an adventure. It's something new, exciting. And you're going to feel like this is the adventure of your lifetime. And you're going to get inspired by something. I feel like you're going to hear or see something that you either read about in you know, maybe someone else's life. And it's not necessarily that you're going to do exactly the same thing they're doing. But it's going to inspire you and give you an idea. And that's what's going to start you on this new adventure. Okay, This new adventure is bringing good news. It's going gonna, it's gonna to change your life. That is the good news um, for the better. So let's see what else. What about in love? Wow. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Let go of the past. Clear energy to allow more love into your life. Okay, yeah. And again, you're purifying yourself, okay? You're, you're bringing light. You're getting rid of the darkness and in the process of bringing that new light in, remember, you have to let go of the darkness, so you, in, in order to let go of the darkness, in love, you need to let go of the past. It's time to let go of any relationships that failed, any relationships that brought you pain, any situations where you felt rejected or you felt like, you know, the person made you feel less than or that you were not worthy or valued or enough. You have to let that go because that, that it says clear energy to allow more love. When you let that go and you flood yourself with light and high frequency, then the new love that comes is going to match that high energy frequency and be the love that sees you as worthy, that treats you as worthy, and the love that is deserving of you. You know, high quality, true love, lasting love, a love that that puts you and thinks of you even before themselves. They, that's that's the kind of love that, that's coming. But you have to rid yourself of those selfish, toxic people that you may have been in relationships in, in the past or before. Okay? So what other good news is coming for pile number one? Please speak and tell us. Good news for pile number one. Okay, this one wants to speak. Friendship. It says nurture your relationships. Okay, yeah. So... In your new life, on your new adventure, you are going to have a lot of good friends. Those friends are going to stick by you. They're going to support you. They're going to cheer you on in your new endeavors. And they are going to help you even, even when you're, like if you're in a period of being single, 
they're going to to be that that comfort and that companionship for you so that you don't you know so that you're not you're never lonely you don't start feeling lonely and i feel like for some of you who haven't really had new friends or some of you that really don't have a lot of friends if you are going to be connected with some new, very positive, light-filled, wonderful people, and they're going to be instant friends with you. Like you're going to make a new, some new friends, and it's going to surprise you, okay? Because you're not. It may you may not have even been looking for these new friends, but it's just that their en energy matches your energy, and you've you've basically manifested some good new friends to come into your life. Okay, so let's see what else. What other good news for pile number one? And this new adventure, they're gonna they're gonna be there along with you in this, for your new adventure, okay? And your new adventure, there's like I said, there's a lot of exciting things coming. So let's see what else. Pile number one, good news. Please speak and tell us, okay? It says affirmation. I listen to myself and acknowledge my needs. I assert myself and retain my power. I am brave and gentle. I don't have to be afraid of others. I respect myself and I'm respected by others. Yeah. And that goes back to this. The good news in love is that you will never allow yourself to be disrespected in a relationship again. You are letting go of those types of toxic people that have hurt you in the past and have, like I said, devalued you in the past. And now you're going, you're only letting yourself enter into relationships with people that respect you and, and you will respect yourself and they will respect you. And this is the root chakra. Your root chakra is strengthening and becoming stronger and stronger. And that's helping you discern who really has your best interest at heart and who you can feel safe with and who are the, the people, the positive people that you want in your life. And that includes relationships and friendships that are coming. Okay, so what other good news? Let's shuffle the wisdom, inspiration, advice cards. We're going to shuffle and take three to see what other good news for pile number one. Let's see, let's take three cards for pile number one and... It says you are closer than you think. Yes, you are closer than you think to this big, new, exciting life change. Okay, and again, there's an adventure. And still, I'm still hearing travel. And with this whale, like I said, this is a huge, huge change. Big, as big as a whale is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Some of you are even going to see whales and that's a confirmation of this. Like you're, you're just going to have, suddenly you're going to have, start seeing whales that you never, you know, just in random stories or pictures or whatever it is. And that's a confirmation of your new good news and your journey. Okay. It says, don't back down. Right. You, like I said, your past does not matter anymore because you're headed towards new fertile beginnings. Okay. So just don't back down and don't be afraid of the unknown. And last but not least, share your unique self with the world. Yes, you are going to be an inspiration to others. Because remember, it says I inspire and I'm inspired. So you know what I'm seeing is like people are going to watch you in your new life and your new exciting adventure and go, wow, you know, if pile number one was able to like change their life and have this exciting new life, maybe I can too. Okay. Wow. That is amazing. So pile number one, I really do hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please like subscribe and share. And until then I will see you soon. Bye my butterfly babies. Okay. We're going to move on to pile number two. We want to know what good news they have coming. Okay. Pile number two, if you selected this card, heal the ouch, the number 38 with this key and this pink rose, this is your reading. So right away, I'm seeing heal the ouch and the key, okay? So you're being healed of any past pains, hurts, or situations. You're being healed physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and financially, okay? So that's the good news right off the bat. Okay, you're being the given the key to unlock 
a special wish, dream, project, or plan that you've been wanting for a long time now. It's finally, you're, you were finally given the key for that, for that manifestation. And with the number 38, which equals 11, which is a master number, I'm hearing that this is going to be a very magical time. And once you heal yourself, that key is going to unlock a magical journey that you're going to be on. Okay, where you're with, all, I'm also seeing 11 being two. Once you heal the ouch, you're going to start experiencing a lot of love also. And that's why we have the pink rose. So much love is coming into your life. So let's see what else for pile number two. Please speak and tell us good news for pile number two. Please speak and tell us good news. Good news coming for pile number two. Oh, look at this. Okay, it says come together. It says fairies like to be busy. And a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work. Working as a team helps get the job done. Okay, yeah. So this is letting me know that you're going to have support on your journey, on your on this new healing journey. It says heal the ouch. And you can see the little raccoon is healing the fox. So you're going to have a lot of supportive people. But what I'm seeing, if you look at the, the picture, this is you. You've got, you've got the butterfly angel, you know, you've got these fairies, but you've also, they're also representing angels that you have on the other side. So I'm hearing that you've got a lot of support on the other side from, from source spirit, from your spirit guides and from angels and from your ancestors that are working behind the scenes to help you heal yourself and to unlock your new exciting journey that you're going on. And we want to find out more about this new the good news of this journey. What, what's going on? Please speak and tell us for pile number two for income, money, finance, abundance, wealth, career, income, money, finance, career, abundance, wealth. Please speak and tell us for pile number two. Wow. Okay. This, oh my God. The card went way over here. Um, We're going to take it. It says the leader because I mean, it just shot out like, so it says the leader. I lead from the heart. Okay, so this is letting me know that once you're healed, you're going to be stepping into this leadership position. But with the heart and with the, it says, I lead from the heart, you're going to have compassion. So it's it goes back to, there's a saying that um, the broken become masters at mending. So because you are able to be healed and you are being healed by the help of angels and, and even people here, but also you're being healed from from the other side, from all your angels and, and spirit guides. But you're also, once you're healed, you're able to heal others. Okay. And you're, you're going to be a leader showing others. You, you're, it gave you like whatever you were, were going through that you healed yourself of. It gave you the gift of compassion. So it gave you the gift to understand and help be compassionate. Oops. This is very blurry and I don't know why compassionate to other people who are grow, going through the let let's see okay, hopefully it'll sharpen up because this I don't know why it's blurry but you this you were given this key is giving you the gift also of compassion and that compassion is helping you help others and help heal others okay so let's see what else what good news and love I'm hoping the camera will sharpen up soon sorry about the blurry but I'll hold each card up so you can definitely see it but let's see what else for love for pile number two, what good news in love? Please speak and tell us. Good news for pile number two in love. Okay, wow. Memento. It says a gift from someone special. Yeah, so the good news is somebody is planning to give you a gift. Okay, and I'm even seeing that somebody has taken pictures of you. And again, it could be, it could be someone that you're not with yet, but that really likes you, that's going to come towards you. But this person, and sorry about, I don't know why this camera's blurry like this, but I don't want to stop the reading because um, hopefully it'll sharpen up. But anyway, so Memento, um, I'm hearing that somebody even has pictures that they've taken either with you or of you, and they've made like a beautiful collage of, you know, maybe times that you guys did something together. Um, it could be a date, like you went on a date and then you guys took pictures or selfies or whatever you did. 
and they're they're almost making like a, a collage or a or a, almost like a scrap book and it's it's gonna be really special okay because it's like wow this person is paying attention to every little detail and that's a that's a good sign that somebody is truly the one for you if they notice and pay attention to little details like they they look at what you like they look at what color you like they listen to what you told them your your favorite movie was or is and and they bring it up. They, they keep note and keep track of all the things about you because they care about you. Okay. And the memento that they're going to give you, like I mentioned, is going to show something to you that, wow, this person really has been paying attention and really, really cares about me. Okay. So let's see what else. What other good news for pile number two? Please speak and tell us. Good news for pile number two. Okay. What we'll wanted to flip it. Pile number two, good news. There it is. Oh my gosh, money. Okay, it says find, find a way to abundance. Yeah, so your good news involves a large amount of money. Okay, and that's why I'm seeing all of these different activities. Like, you you know, I'm here, I'm seeing, you know, it, I almost, this almost looks like a roller coaster, like an amusement park. Um, you've got music. I'm still hearing a concert. You've got this beautiful outdoor area with the water and waterfalls. I see love because there's love down here. So I'm hearing that a large amount of money is coming your way that is going to unlock the ability for you to really enjoy life. Okay. And, you know, you're going to have the money to do a lot of fun things. Like I said, like go to concerts, go to um, amusement parks, go to on a vacation up in the mountains where there's waterfalls um, and there's the world right here. So I'm hearing travel. It's going to unlock the ability for you to travel where you want to go and see new places. So that is really exciting. Okay, so money is on the way, pal number two. So let's see what else. What other good news is coming pile number two's way? Please speak and tell us. Good news. Wow. Okay. We've got several, but we're going to take them all. Okay. So it says action. It says my divine action incites love and harmony. Yes. I'm aware of my thoughts and driven by positive forces. I listen to my heart. My desire to manifest light transforms tests into growth, challenges into opportunity, and fear into love. Yes, and that is what you're going to do. And that's why that compassion that you were given by healing yourself is giving you the ability to, to heal others. So it's letting you know that you have that, that gift of healing and that gift of compassion to give to others. It says the calm. I breathe, live, and grow the light within me. I do one thing at a time and focus on the present moment. I cast off my doubts. All fear dissipates and I find peace in my being. And yes, and that is why you have the key to your healing, to healing the ouch. Healing, healing your ouch is bringing you peace and calm. Okay, so that's what you have to look forward to once you're healed. Guidance. In times of uncertainty, I ask God to guide me in the light of my being, in the light of to guide me, I'm sorry, I ask God to guide me to the light in my being. I am directed to doors that will open inner freedom to me and step forward in trust. I release my faith to God and my faith is rewarded. Yeah, and that's why I was telling you that you have these angels on the other side that are helping you from the other side and they're guiding you on this journey, this good news journey. And then it says, release. I stop fighting my fears and the hardships of life. I control my thoughts, live in the present moment, and accept each stage of life. I work on what I have power over and put into God's hands what I can't change. I trust that everything will work out for the best. Yes. And there is that heart with that pink heart chakra again. So this is just reassurance and confirmation that everything is as it should be and all is well. And you're going to enjoy this new happy, peaceful, wonderful, healed life. Okay. There's a lot of healing coming. And again, you also can share that healing and compassion with others. Okay. So let's see what else. Pile number two, please speak and tell us. We're going to pull three wisdom and inspiration advice cards and that one pulled itself. So let's see. It says, you're doing great. Yeah. You're, you're, you did the work. 
you're healing the ouch, you were given the key, and you're moving forward in life. Okay, so you're doing great. It's encouragement and confirmation. Take a chance. Yeah, remember, money is coming. Okay, a lot of money is coming. So it says take a chance. You're gonna that it's gonna open a world to all these different possibilities for you. So you know, be willing to take an advan a chance and try new things. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This literally sums up the whole reading. Okay, be healed. Okay, I cannot believe that it cannot confirm more the whole theme of this reading. Be healed, heal the ouch. And once your ouch is healed, you have this beautiful, beautiful new life to look forward to and all of the abundance available to enjoy it. Wow, pile number two, this has been your reading. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And until then, I will see you soon. Bye, my butterfly babies. Okay, we're going to move on to pile number three to find out what they, what good news is coming their way. Pile number three, if you selected this card, Strength, the number 44 and the peace sign and this white rose, this is your reading. Now, right away with this Strength card, and it's like the figure is holding the whole world on, you know, balancing the whole world in her hands. Okay. Um, and with this peace sign, I'm hearing that your, your, your good news is that you are actually healing the world with your, with your spirit, with your energy and your high frequency. And I'm hearing that a project you're working on is going to create like a positive benefit for the whole world and it's actually going to reach the whole world so whatever you're doing is going to go global okay there's no other way to say it like and it's something that's so positive and and it's promoting peace peace purity just good things that is what you're going to share and spread with the world on a global level so let's find out more what good news is, is coming for pile number three. Good news. Please speak and tell us. Ah. <laughs> Please speak and tell us. Oh, look at that. Pure intention. We were just saying that. The white represents purity. And that's what you're doing. It says the fairy of manifestation will help you use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention for the highest good of all. Yes. You, what you are manifesting it's pure. It's for the good of the whole world. It's going to bring peace to this whole world. Okay. Wow. That is wild. Okay. That is so cool. So let's see what else. For pile number three, for money, income, career, finance, abundance, please speak and tell us the good news. For pile number three, please speak and tell us. Good news for pile number three, income, money, wealth, abundance, abundance. Finance career. Whoa. <laughs> We're going to take this one because it's, oh my gosh, the merchant. It says opportunities to prosper are everywhere. Yeah. So see all the different branches. And again, your intention and your, your project and what you're manifesting is going to reach the whole world. And in turn, it's going to bring you a huge, huge amount of financial abundance, prosperity, and success. And it's going to come from all these different, it's going to come from all over the world, from all these different sources. So you're receiving money from all over, from millions and millions of people around the world. Wow, that's big time good news. <laughs> Okay, because you're you're blessing others and then you're being blessed. Okay, so let's see what else. Pile number three. Oops, some of these cards have flipped, but it's not. They're just already kind of flipped. So let me just get them the way they're supposed to be so we can get the accurate card for your love. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> The good news in love is bonding. It says, as you get to know each other, you discover many things in common. Okay, wonderful. So it's just letting me know that in love, your person, you and your person will have a deep, intense, like um, supernatural spiritual bond. 
Okay, it's not just physical, even though there is a physical attraction, but it goes way, way deeper than that. And that's why I'm hearing the, I'm hearing that, I'm hearing twin flame. So I'm hearing that your person is your twin flame. Okay, and if they're not already, if you're not, not already with that person, they are coming and they're coming in strong. They're coming in hot, as they say, okay, they're coming quickly. So just be ready. Okay, and you're going to have a bond like you've never experienced before with that twin flame. Okay, with your twin flame, that's something once in a lifetime love that's, that you're going to experience. Okay, so let me, and the bonding, it's almost like you already know the person. That's, that's why it's so, um, like, it's so unique and so amazing. It's like, you feel like you already know them, even though you're, you're getting, it's like, oh, you like that too. Oh, you do that. Cause it's saying you discover many things in common. It's like even some little weird quirks that you have, they may have the same quirks. It's like, oh, I didn't know that, that you, you know, only use a green toothbrush or something. I know just like some really obscure, strange little thing. And they're going to be like, oh, I do that too. And you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I've never even met anybody that does that too, you know? So it's going to be amazing. So let's see what else for pile number three what good news is coming for pound number three wow oh my gosh new beginnings it says begin your new life yes this is your new life your new life is spreading spreading peace to the whole world in a service or in some kind of project you're doing you know, it could be a project on social media. It could be some kind of film that you're ma that you're doing. Um, you could be writing a book. You could be doing some kind of tour or doing some kind of advocacy work or whatever it is. But in your new beginning is going to manifest these amazing things for you. The peace that you're sharing with the world, the money that it brings in. And it, it's going to be, it's going to change your whole life. So this is coming. This is coming soon. So I'm excited for you. But let's see what else. Pile number three. Good news coming their way. Let's see. Okay, you've got two. It says me. It says I allow serenity to reign in me. The love I have for myself invites harmony to settle within my being. I listen to honor and strive to fulfill the needs of my soul. Yeah. And because you have... It says, you know, you have this strength card and because you are, it's everything starts with you. See all this green, you've got green, 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 green. Your heart is so, your heart chakra is so strong and so powerful that, and that is why, and, and I'm noticing too, the 44 equals eight and that's the money too, symbolizes the money coming in. But the reason it says me is because everything starts with you. It is your heart and your pure intention that is um, initiating this project that's going to bring literally world peace or, or peace to millions of people around the globe. It's global. You're going to reach globally is what I'm saying, but it starts with you and that's why it's just me. So that's why you want to keep your heart chakra clean, pure, and strong. Okay. Look at this confirmation, success. I grow and thrive in the universe. I discover the purity of my heart. Yep. And the higher wisdom that guides me towards victory. I direct my thoughts towards clarity, nurture, wisdom, love, and goodness within me. I am free now and I succeed in my life. Yes, that is double, triple confirmation that this, all of these good intentions and everything you're doing is going to lead you to this to success in your life, both spiritually and materially. Wow, that's amazing, pal number three. So let's let's see what else we're going to shuffle the wisdom, inspiration, advice cards and take three for pile number three. I finally can say three for three. I'm always like saying three cards and I end up telling pile number one, pile three, and then go, I'm sorry, because I'm saying three cards. Oh, whoa, this one popped. And then we'll do two more. Let's do that one and we'll do four. Okay. So the first one says, wow, you are worthy. Yes. You have a pure heart. You have pure intentions and you're worthy. You're a worthy person. It all starts with you. Okay. Don't forget that you're worthy. 
baby steps, yeah. Now remember, you're reaching the whole world over here. So don't expect to go global overnight. It's going to take time. But you have the strength and you have that pure heart and that pure focus to achieve because you know how many people it's going to help. So you're willing to take those baby steps to get to that goal. Okay, and remember, you're going to experience that new beginning. Okay, be brave. Yes, anytime you are venturing out into something new, it requires you to be brave because you're doing something that you've never done before to achieve something that you've never had before. And last but not least, go for it. Yes, take action, go forward. The end result is success. So don't have any doubts or fears and just go for it, pile number three. Ooh, this has been your reading pile number three. It is absolutely mind-blowing that you have all these things coming and that you're going to change the world. So I really do hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And until then, I will see you soon. Bye, my butterfly babies.